In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of focus stacking. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. So the last video I put out which was uh, the Macro Adventures episode 4, I put an image on social media of this damselfly. And a lot of people ask me, how did you focus stack that damselfly freehand? So focus stacking is a process where you take multiple images of the focus plane in different positions and then combine all of those images within a piece of software to create one single image where your depth of field is larger. On some lenses, when you go above a certain f-stop, diffraction comes in because your aperture is so small. Focus stacking can get round that problem. You can also use this technique to open up your aperture to give yourself a higher shutter speed to freeze that action. So we have a basic scene set up here with Chewbacca with a Millennium Falcon and a little bit of a background. And what I'm going to go through is the basics of focus stacking, how and why we do it. In macro photography, we always struggle with depth of field. This is the focus plane in your image where you have the most sharpness and it's a very, very, very shallow, very shallow when it comes to macro photography. So what focus stacking does, and I'll make this as simple as possible, is you take a series of pictures with parts of the image that are in focus and then software such as Photoshop uses an algorithm to mask out the parts that are out of focus blending it all together to make it look like you have a much wider depth of field. So there's two techniques to doing this, you can alter your focus or you can move the camera. I prefer to move the camera, okay? So to keep things very, very simple so you can understand what we're doing here, I'm going to use a focus rail. Now this rail, I'm not going to recommend it because I never use it, it's very um, cheap. <laughs> I'm not even going to use budget, it's cheap. Okay, but I'm just going to use this as a demonstration on exactly how to do this technique. So we're going to bring in the tripod. So I've got my camera set up and you can see how loose it is on this cheap rail. So if you are going to have a rail, make sure you get a, a really good one. Right, so you have to excuse me if I start sweating. It's one of the hottest days of the year. And as you can see, I've been out and got a bit of a sunburn. Okay, so I've got my camera set up now and you can see there the, uh, the image that we are getting. So our aim is, is to have Chewbacca in focus, but the Millennium Falcon and the background to be out of focus. And if you look as a focus, you can just about get his face in focus and the Millennium Falcon out of focus, but you can't have the gun or his crossbow in focus. Uh, so that is what we're going to use the focus stacking for. We're going to take a series of shots where the focus plane changes and then in the software afterwards, we're going to combine those together to create one single image. So to get this done, I'm going to need to introduce a little bit of light. Okay. So I like to take it just in front of where I want to start to photograph. Okay, so I'm going to take a test shot now. So I'm going to move it forward. So you can see from that shot that only his nose is actually in focus, the eyes are out of focus, and everything else is out of focus. Now this is going to be perfect subject for us to do a focus stack with. You can see, look at look how wobbly that is. This is why I don't like this particular focus uh, rail. But I want to try and keep things simple for you before we go on to the freehand focus stacking. I just want to explain what it is, okay? So I'm going to start focus stacking now. So I'll put my hand in front, take a picture. That gives me a blank picture in Lightroom so I know where the focus stack starts. Okay, and here we go. Okay, I'll move forward a little bit. Move forward again. And we just keep doing this until we have all the images taken. Okay. Now I've done that, I'm going to take my camera off this crappy focus rail. Don't ever cheap out on your, on your equipment because that's what happens. You try and do a, um, a YouTube video and your cheap ass crappy rail is just so crap you can't do it right 
So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to do the same again, but this time I'm going to use the focusing reel on my uh, lens. I'm going to focus just in front of where I'm going to start. Hand over the uh, lens. That'll give me a blank image so I know where the focus stack starts. And then I can start the focus stack again. And I'm just altering the focus so that we get a little bit in focus every single time. And the idea is here we will let the software work out what's in focus and that will give us our final result. So now we've done that, it's time to jump over to the computer and finish this off and I'll show you how you can edit your focus stacked images and combine them into one image. So here we are now in Lightroom and you can see here we have our images that we've just taken. So you can see down here we have all our images, you can see how we have the blank images. That's when we put our hand over the lens to show that that's the start of a new stack. So here's our stacks here, this is the first one, this was done with the, uh, the focusing rail. And you can see how the image moves all over the place. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like that particular focus rail and it'll probably be going in the bin but there you go so first of all i'm not doing any editing at all i'm not going to edit the colors or anything i just want to get the basics of how we focus stack that way you can go out now and have a little bit of a play with focus stacking so all i'm going to do i'm just going to select all of my focus stacked images okay and i want to group those into a stack so there's them here's our next one this was the one that we did with the focus wheel on our lens. And then these I can delete because we don't need those any longer. And of course we have these images at the beginning, which was our test shoot to see if the, the exposure was correct. We don't need those. Okay, so we have our two stacks, 117 and 119 images. So we have our stacks now. So I'm going to select the first stack. This was the one done with the focus rail and the photo editing. And we want to open as layers in Photoshop. And then we sit here for half now and wait. We are now in Photoshop. And you can see here how we have all of our images. You can see the, uh, the focus shifting on each image. Okay. So the first thing we want to do, I want to select all of my layers and we want to come up to edit. Auto align layers. I leave it on auto. Make sure vignette removal and geometric distortion is unticked. I'll click OK. Now you don't have to use Photoshop. There are many other pieces of software out there. There's Zorin Stacker. Um, there is another one. I can't remember the name off by heart. But I don't use any of these because I don't focus stack enough to warrant me purchasing a separate piece of software. Okay. But if you want me to demo those softwares, show you what those softwares can do, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can get myself a trial version to show you the difference between Photoshop and say Serene Stacker when it comes to stacking images. But those pieces of software I would say are for if you're really serious about focus stacking. Okay, so here we are. It's now aligned to these images. So next what we want to do is come to edit, auto blend layers and we're going to stack images, making sure seamless tones and colors is ticked and content aware fill transparent areas is also ticked. And we will click OK. Okay, so there we have our finished focus stacked image. You can see there how Chewbacca is all in focus now, but the Millennium Falcon in the background is still out of focus. That's the power of focus stacking. So let's examine what's going on here. So basically what's happening here is Photoshop is using an algorithm to detect what pixels are actually in focus. It then masks out those pixels and blends them in as layers. So you can see these layers here. Let's, uh, let's go with the bottom one. So each one of these has images that it thinks is in focus. Now these ones are for the background. Okay, they're out of focus. But then as you come here, you can see that each one each layer has a little bit of Chewy that is in focus. You can see here, we're onto the gun now, look. So each layer has a little bit that's in focus. 
and Photoshop has basically blended those layers together to give us our overall finished image. Let's get back into Lightroom. Let's have a look at that other stack that we had. Now this one, as you remember, is the one we did with the focusing reel on the actual uh, lens. So again, we're going to edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so here is our image again. And you can see there the different focusing, okay. So we're going to select them all again, go up to edit, auto align layers, click auto, and you can create yourself an action in Photoshop that does this for you. Okay, all you got to do is record it. Once you've recorded it, all you got to do is hit play on your action, and it will do all this for you. Okay, that's done. So now we come to edit, auto blend layers, again, stacked images, seamless tones, colors, content array, fill transparent areas, and we will let Photoshop do its thing. Okay, so this is a great example of something I want to show you, okay? Now, I struggled with this a lot when I first started. So let's just deselect. So if you have a look at this one, okay, you can see near enough most of it's in there. We've got a few little bits of artifacting around here, okay? However, if you look at this one, a lot of his gun is actually out of focus, and some areas just here are out of focus. So what's happened there is that is a failed stack, and what's happened is I've turned the focusing wheel too much okay so this actually put me off focus taking for quite a while because i couldn't figure out what was going on and if you ever see this here your focus stack it's still out of focus it's because you haven't got enough information that's in focus and that is something i want to touch on in the next video where i'm going to be focus stacking some live subjects okay so i will touch on that in the next video so out of those two again Moving the camera seems to work better. It always does. I don't know why it just does, okay? But that is our final image there. And of course, you always get these little bit of artifacting around the edge of your uh, frame. This is where the, uh, the image is shifted slightly. All we gotta do now is crop. And since we are doing Chewbacca, let's do a 16 to nine crop. Okay, okay. And my computer is not that fast. I've just edited the video, okay? Okay, I'm gonna save this as a TIFF. Let's discard the layers. Okay, so we can always bring this image back into Lightroom to do some color correction. And depending on the subject will depend whether I do my color correction before stacking or afterwards. Typically, most of the time, I do my color correction before I do my stack. There's a nice kind of cinematic type of look to it but there you go so that's the basics of focus stacking when you need a subject in focus more okay the depth of field needs to be more but you can't push your lens above a certain f-stop because of diffraction so i hope you learned something from this video if you did let me know in the comments below in the next video we're going to be doing some focus stacking on live subjects out in the field so i hope you're going to be looking forward to that but again as always my name is Stuart Wood and i'll see you on the next video so I have a, uh, we always have a struggle of the focus plane. That's the plane, it's a, um, in macro photography, you always struggle with the focus plane, focus depth of field. In macro photography, you always struggle with depth of field and that's the, uh, the field. Yep. And our aim here is to have the whole of Chewbacca in focus, but the Millennium Falcon and the background out of focus.